Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and today I'm going to be testing out the new high coverage concealers by The Ordinary. So if you're interested and want to see some swatches, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I'm excited to try the new concealers by The Ordinary. I bought this off Desium website for $5.95 Canadian. And it's 8 ml according to their website you can use it to cover your under eye circles blemishes so we shall try that these are the swatches on my arm from the bottom up 1.2 y 1.2 yg 2.0 n for neutral 2.1 y 2.2 y I'll swatch it and I'm probably gonna swatch it on my face. So I'll start with 1.2 yellow light. Just like this. It is 8 ml. Squeeze to the consistency. Okay. Oh, it looks thick. Let's see. So this is, oh yeah, this is way too light for me. Next up, I bought 1.2 light yellow undertones with gold highlights and when i saw yellow gold highlights i thought they meant that they're sh shimmer but i don't think that's the case yeah okay let's put it here i don't know if you see the difference next up i have 2.1 y medium yellow undertone This is more me. Next, I have 2.0 N light medium. So that's neutral. I don't know, that one looks similar to the light. Did I buy two the same? No. Okay, this was a horrible swatch I just did here. <laughs> what happened? Okay, and then the last shade I bought was 2.2 Y medium yellow undertones. Okay, this is more like it. Okay. Yeah, these, this is too light. Um, this one, still a little too dark. I mean, it looks like it might go with, my face is lighter than my neck. I don't, well, okay, and the camera doesn't, it looks like I'm darker, but like I don't sell tan right now. Maybe in the summer I'm more this shade. I think I'm more this sh shade right now. But yeah, so there's the shade range. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's conceal. So I'm going to try 2.0 neutral light medium. I'm gonna try it on one side. Let's see, let's see how good their coverage is. As I say, it's pretty high coverage. Okay, I'm just gonna use my, my fingers. Wow, okay. Oh my God, my stupid bangs. Okay. It covers pretty well. It's interesting, I think it, it dries down to almost a, a powdery finish for some reason, not too, not a dry powder, it's just, it, it has a nice feeling. The consistency is not too thick. It's definitely not tart shape tape or tart creamy concealer. It's not as thick as that. But as you can see, it definitely brightened my under eye area. It covers very well. Okay, let's try on the other eye. Will I look cray cray if I put the under? Why not? Let's just play around here. Okay, let's try 1.2 yellow gold light, yellow undertones with gold highlights. Okay, I think that's misleading. Because when you think of highlights, you think of some shimmer, but there is no shimmer. Way too light, I think. This would go well with uh, oh, definitely light skin tones. This is too light for me. It's definitely brightening. Like for reference, I'm usually MAC NC30 or 
NC25 to NC30. I don't feel that it accentuates my, my fine lines. Okay. Coverage is nice, and I only need to put one layer. Okay, let's, let's cover Saturn over here. <sighs> Still breaking up. Let's cover that. Okay. Oof. Oh, it looks... Okay, this is too light. Oh. Okay, let's go darker. Let's try 2.2 medium yellow undertones. 2.2 wide medium yellow undertones. Let's try putting it here. Okay, this looks more like it, I guess. Oh, it's still dark. Too yellow? It looks like it's too yellow. It's okay. You know what? It matches, seems to match my neck. So I guess we'll go with that. Okay, let's try 2.1. Now I'm getting lost. Okay, this was 2.2 yellow. I'm going to try 2.1. <laughs> one yellow. Okay, see, yeah. This is more like it. This is more when I'm tan. This is like for now in the winter. Okay, I look funny. Let's just start all over. Oh, so, I finally decided. I think for my skin tone, I'm better off with 2.1 Y medium yellow undertone. So let's try this again. I'm going to cover Saturn over here and next to it, Venus. I have redness. I'm just, let's just, let's just go all over. It does cover, it does not feel greasy. Let's try it with a brush if I want to put it like all over my imperfections. I'm going to use like a foundation brush and somehow this is a, like a magic brush for me. The Urban Decay foundation brush, there's something about it. Makes me look flawless. Two point... I, I'm, I'm all mixed up now. Where is it? Two point one yellow medium. Okay, so I've got here an old mark. Okay. I'm gonna try sticking it. You know, a little goes a long way. As you can see, it covers. I just use a, just a tiny bit. And then, okay, you can still see it, but man, it, it covers. And can you see it? Yeah, it applies nice with the brush. My face looks so much smoother. Okay. Can you see? Let's say medium coverage. Yeah, it's interesting. I just feel like it has a nice, not a matte, it just dries down to a powdery finish. Just like a little nice powdery finish. Now let's try, I always apply powder under my eyes to set it. So let's see if it will cause any creasing. So I'm just gonna use my Morphe banana powder. Okay. It looks so much better. Okay, let's try a finishing powder over it. I'm just going to use light medium, Maybelline Fit Me. I like it. All right, so my face is done. Overall, I do like the concealers. They don't accentuate my fine lines under my eyes. They cover well. It doesn't feel too thick or sticky. And it has this, I don't know, in my opinion, on my oily skin, it has this, finish, a slight powdery finish. So I think that I can just put this on and then leave the house without having to set my face. I'm, I'm pretty pleased. After all, it's only $6 Canadian, so you can't go wrong with that. And they have a wide uh, shade range selection. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.